We're going to karaoke. Oh, yeah, or we're going to karaoke. And notice we're wearing our favorite singer shirts again. This is the only Bieber shirt I have that fits, so. She, um, lovelies, as you know. You know the team. You know you do. Going to you. Meals on Wheels. That's right. Proceeds. Yes. For right now, I want to try to find a way to, um, I've got to get back in contact with Elton John's AIDS Foundation because I really like to try to donate some money to them too. Yana? Oh, uh, nah. Just because. This is my only Bieber shirt that fits. Yeah. She, yeah, well, you could just, you should cut all the, the pictures off and get them put on a, like a jacket or something. That'd be cool. Like you could get a, a long blue jean jacket and you could have them all sewn on. That would be really cool. It would. Something like that. Or you could make, get somebody to make you a blanket. Grandma said she could talk to somebody and make me a quilt out of them. It would be a tiny cool. one because I only have like five, but it would be cool. Yeah. I wish I had made a quilt out of all my my riding ribbons. They just got, Grandma Gladys put them in her storage bin. There was 3,000 of them, all different. Holy all crap, 3,000? Yeah. I rode that many times. Uh -huh. We had different awards. Well, because I got some championship from comp, com, combined le, uh, classes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, yeah, there was a whole bunch of stuff. I had plaques for a while that had this covered wagon on it, and it was like I had got some first place. I gave my papa Larry an award. It was the halter award thing. There's no horsey. Because he likes horses and he likes belt buckles. Yeah. And it was one of those ginormous cowboy I belt buckles. I was supposed to get one of those, but I got a blanket instead. That that's blanket cool. That's back there. That horse blanket. That's cool. Yeah, I would have loved a belt buckle. I'd probably, probably be gone. You know? I have a leather jacket that y'all will see this winter. And it was hers, and it has all the flags of all the countries. Dad gave it to me. But she gave it to me. And we washed it off, all that stuff, because it was in the hayloft. And now I wear it because it's cool. It is cool. It's too small for me. So very small. Okay. I can't see what's going on. Sorry, thanks. Well, she was still nice, though. Mm -hmm. I thought she had a turn signal on, if I was wrong all that action that just happened yeah and Meg's that that, be, that was it's Annie's Annie, now was back to Annie's again I don't understand pick a sign <laughs> pick a name load hello Fernando we don't have drinks so no but after mom's torture today she deserves a blue moon look at the pretty what? teeth no, well. it's not here because mm. no, pretty bottom teeth there was a close-up. Yeah. Hers are all shiny naturally. Look at mine. Mine are shiny from metal. I just got them clean, though. With a, pre with a mouth pressure washer. Yeah, I know. Mom, they're always shiny. Isn't that hilarious? Hers are either always shiny. Not just whenever she has them pressure washed. Pressure washed. I still, is that what it looks like? It's what it looked like, yeah. They were just like shooting your teeth really hard with water. And then there, ooh, and then there's that baking soda. That's what that uh, that last stuff was, shooting baking soda on my gums and stuff. It's weird. Gross. <laughs> yeah. It, that police officer doesn't sit there anymore. I'm surprised because he used to sit up there in that parking area. They will probably have stopped speeding. Maybe so. They get tired of watching me go back and forth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I had that liquid eyeliner. I don't ever want to use it again. I didn't remember now why I, didn't, why I stopped using it. Because that wet and pliable isn't mm -hmm. really that great. What did it do? It just, this side, like got big, there was a big blob. And I was like, good God, do I have to take every bit of my makeup off? It's done that to me before. Uh, I had liquid eyeliner once. Yeah. And it was hard candy, which is like the $8 shit. Yeah. And I put it on, and um, I started going, and it got all, like, 
very, very, very liquidy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I had to take off all the makeup on that one eye. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to leave the music on. And, well, I'm gonna... so I can talk to you. There. It's my car. Yeah. Dodge Charger. Justin can have his Ferraris and whatnot. All I want is a Dodge Charger. Okay. That's the most expensive thing I'll probably ever buy in my life. Is your car? Yes. In my house, probably. Oh, it's only prepaid. I'll run inside. Hold on. Well, because I don't know how much it's going to take. That's the problem. Um. Wait. Oh, yeah, you have. You have a card. What? Yeah, I was going to pay by car. But they won't let you. Huh? No. Oh. Um, it's sometimes, let's just do, let's do go with seven. Okay. Because sometimes it'll take seven or eight. Am I keeping this here by myself? Yes, we've already come to this. Oh, yeah. Flower wash, but without Caitlin back. So here's the place where the creepy, I don't know if you can hear me, but the sound, hold on, let me take my key out. No, wait a minute. Anyway, this is where these creepy hillbillies stare at me, and it's so frightening. And so I'm hiding right now, Fernando. I am hiding with some white light. It's Caitlin. Random air thrust. No, I'm kidding. I was kidding. telling Fernando something. I'll have to tell him again when we get in the car where he might be able to hear me better. Yeah, lovely. Selling mom's boobs. Sorry. <laughs> I was telling Fernando this is where the creepy the hillbillies look like. I wonder if he can hear me. And we're all looking at my um, shirt. Ball? Oh. When the, this guy inside went. Look at my shirt and went. Ah, goody. Like a boss. Right. Love my hat, Fernando. I wrote beaver stuff on it. Some guy at school gave it to me. Yeah. Like he let me borrow it one day, and he was like, "Ew, good, it flew out." And I was, was like, "I forgot your hat. I'm sorry." He's like, "Oh no, just keep it." Anyway, Fernando, creepy what I was saying, scared. there's creepy hillbillies that use that stove, and so they stare at me as if they'd never seen a blonde female. As if they'd never seen a female. Period. They probably haven't. They act like crazy yucky. I don't like being stared at like that, just to tell you the truth. It's so weird. All that oogling and ogling. It makes me feel like, what, you haven't seen two legs? What's wrong with you? For sure, man. Never seen a woman before, huh? Uh, you Look, know, Fernando never hand. knows that. Uh, well, it looks way better on camera than it does in real life. Uh, Hooray for having a Sharpie in my hand and having nothing else to do. I guess. It could have been worse. Like prison tattoos or whatever. <laughs> still write on myself. That's just now coming Isn't off. Isn't that great, Fernando? She writes on herself. I write, like, believe and believe and stuff on myself. She drew hearts on herself, too. 
And Andy swore up and down looked like a prison tattoo. I draw it because I like drawing on myself. At least I'm not drawing all big. Yeah. Justin wrote, I heart my believers all down his arms in Sharpie. I bet his mother was thrilled. You know, it would have been such an ass. Scooter had to go like from behind the stage because he was talking about his mom and him being 18. And he was like, and she'll text me and be like, where are you? He's, and he's like, I technically do not, I legally do not have to tell you where I'm at. And Scooter's like, hmm. That's kind of His rude. manager was sitting inside him and went, <coughs> And Justin just kind of looked at him Scooter gave him the, I don't freaking think so. <laughs> that kind of, uh-uh. <laughs> So you put it, the black under here again? It's chocolate brown. It is? Mm -hmm. Just looking, because it looks dark. It's chocolate brown. And it's it brown. Is. It's so dark. I've got to get some. I have some brown. It's I'm Justin Bieber on the inside. <laughs> brown. Um. <laughs> Something Everybody calls him a sexy inside out Oreo. <laughs> See, even George knows it. Come on. Come on. I think the blackest thing I've ever done, coming to trying to be like that, is wearing my hats backwards. It's not necessarily a black thing. I, know, I mean, the Tammy, thing that, Tammy would say that to you. Why does that have to be a black thing? I mean, that Justin has done trying to be ah. black. It's wearing my hats backwards. In that short while that I didn't wear a belt. Either way I thank you, I'm alive, and tomorrow is a mine. I said tomorrow is a mine, and I just got to keep on breathing. I said no, I don't let go. No, that, feels, that even helps me sing better. Today is voting day for Can you all tell? the judges and tell the signs. We wave. We wave in this county to be nice. I'm alive. I'm voting on the of uh, course I'm voting on the presidential. And that in November. Vote wrong me. Well, I thank you. I may lie. I don't want to be a socialist. I don't want to be forced to be a socialist or a communist or whatever. We'll move to England. Well, we will. Yeah, I know. We. Wait, I have to make, I still, wait, I have to make this and watch okay. my video. We will move to England. There. Okay. So listen. Um, what was I going to tell you? I still have a driver's license in Germany. So... I can get one when I turn 16. It's a... Yeah. But I have one already. It's really cool. And I can get one of those cars that has the wheels on the other side. It's, they don't drive that way in, in Germany. In England they do. In England. I said we're going to move to England. I know. I want to live there. We all know why. No, I'm not gonna go yeah, hang out. Come on, Mom. I'm really? I'm gonna go hang out in front of George's that, house. That that was a joke. So let me tell, tell you. Not that much of a bitch. Let me tell you. The thing about it is, I don't want to be like everybody else. If I'm gonna meet George, I'm not gonna meet George by standing outside his house and be, and being just like everybody else. That's ridiculous. You know? I just don't understand that. I don't understand why do you want to meet somebody? where you're not going to be memorable. That doesn't make sense to me. Because I'm not wanting to meet him just because, oh, i got to go see him and touch him. Oh, my gosh. No, I want to meet him because I think he's really cool and we have a lot of things in common. Not any part of that. Oh, my gosh. He's uh, twitched when you did that. That was funny. <gasps> what is wrong with Kristen Stewart? Why would she uh, do that? I can't, we have to find Why? that. Oh, Brittany, oh, hey, listen, you do that? we have to put it on Brittany's wall just so she has to see when she goes to Samantha. She still hasn't said anything about that rabbit thing. 
What rabbit thing? The picture I drew. Uh, I mean, it's not like freaking adorable, but I find it cool. Yeah, but did you tag? She may not be able to see it. Put it on know, her wall. I don't know when she's going to Santa's because that's the only time she has a computer. And I don't find it like, oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Like, I wouldn't want it as a pet, but I mean, I it so. looks cool. It's cool. It's ugly. The, the Donnie Darko is. Oh, I thought you meant my picture was No, ugly. the Donnie Darko bunny is so... But that's all it reminds me of. I swear, I promise you, that's what I thought of when I first saw it, too. So, has anybody out there seen Donnie Darko? If you have, comment. Caitlin hasn't. She really doesn't want to. Yes, you do. You just want to say it to say you did, because you'll either really love it like Britney, or you'll really just hate it because it's stupid. Oh, okay. It's stupid? To me it is. I don't think it's good. So it's not scary whatsoever? It's weird. It's not scary, I don't think. I think it's just really strange. Sure. Oh, sure. Okay, then I'll it's watch it. It's not like murder and gross bad thing. It's just hey. really creepy where he thinks about this. He sees that weird You want to hear something creepy? I this guess. house is freaking gross. I hate it. Really? One time, okay, this is a story. This house. This is not the why, reason why I hate it. I don't know why I hate it. I've hated it ever since I was little. She just. Uh, so she, I had like, this weird energy, whatever. But one day, Daddy and I were driving by, and then there was this woman's face in the window. You know, I figured, oh, somebody lived there. But then I realized there were no cars there. And. And then the face her had turned white, and it got those really big, weird, like, triangular demon eyes. Gross. And then it disappeared. Wow. I was like, holy mother of crap. Yeah. But, and then uh -huh. there's that building next to it. I saw the same thing one time. It's a woman. Yeah, well, there was a demon. A, there's a house that's next to um, the Ronald McDonald You told me house. about that. Well, I haven't told everybody about it. So anyway, there was this house next to the Ronald McDonald house that a friend of mine and his friend tried to stay in it because it had been rented out like a whole bunch of times and, the, and people could only stay there for like a month or something at a time without, I mean, they would just flee from it because it was like really creepy. Well anyway, so every time I drove past there, I would get a headache, a really bad headache. And then when we'd go past there and be gone away from it, it wouldn't bother me anymore. So, anyway, we went to look at that house just to see what I could feel from it or whatever. Because having had a near-death experience for some reason, I pick up on things like that. So, anyway, so I go to, around to the back of the house where I start to feel like I need to go look through the back sliding glass door. And I do, and it's just really dark. It's a normal-looking house or whatever. But then there's the, like this woman is standing up against the wall between this one bedroom and the living room. And she looked really sad and defeated, kind of like. And so it was just kind of creeped me out. So she was crying, I guess. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. So I told my friend that had tried to stay there. He says, that is the wall that was being banged on all night long when we were staying there. It's in between that living room and that bedroom. Wow. So, and I, he was like, he didn't know a family had lived there before or something. But who knows? Maybe she, she'd had a really Can those kind of feelings of energy and stuff just come naturally to people? Or is it Brittany only when... was born with the, the ability. Because to... I get those weird energies all the time, and I've never had a near-death experience. Yeah. Well, Brittany, she was born that way. She, like, this friend of mine had, had this television set that had been in the room when he nearly had, when he nearly died of a heart attack and his mother prayed over him in Spanish and he understood her to say my life for his mm -hmm. and um, she died she like a week after that happened she showed him cancer on her stomach I'm serious and then she died from it wow so it was like it was like she traded some places which is just really... The creepiest thing that has ever happened to me is, I mean, in that house, ever since I was really, really little, at least I told her even before she moved in with us, or even before her and daddy even met again, I've um, had weird energy about that house. I just didn't, I've never liked it. But we were living in our Orchard Road house when it was my, my dad and mine's first 
ever house, you know, a real legit house of our own. And so, but one night, you know, this was whenever you were living with us. Yeah. And there was something in the guest room. And Lisa said it would feel like it was running at her. I felt like it her. wanted to run at me. You know, it was like this built-up energy where it was almost like a really short... And you're not really supposed to think about it or talk to it, really, you know, because you don't know what it is. But it just felt like it wanted to run at me out of that room. I would have to shut that room sometimes. When the I thing is, out. one night, it was I woke up around 3.05, 3.10, something. And, you know, everybody knows about that time and stuff. But, and I had these... Or some people don't. You might want to explain it. Okay. That was supposedly the hour which Christ died. And they say that the dead spirits that are on the earth walk the earth. That's the time when there's the most haunting yes, activity. activity. Exactly. So anyway, yeah. just to but, explain. Okay, I had these beads, you know, the hippie beads on my door instead of a door. Because my door sucked. Uh, it wouldn't close. So I just had beads. One night I woke up. My TV was on, but it was low. And I looked over at the beads. And there was this thing, I don't know, it was... About my size at that time, I was like, yeah, a little. I was nine. No, it was ten. How old was I whenever we first lived in that house? Oh, I was nine. Oh, you were nine. Yeah. Okay, I was nine, and it was about my height at that time, so about like four or five something. I was four or five, nine. And so, um, I looked at my beads, and there's something standing there. My height, pigtails. Um. Like a t-shirt and uh, either a skirt or teeth. I don't know. You couldn't really see much after the bottom half. And it waved, and then I heard a you know the faint giggle you hear in scary movies. Uh, I heard yeah. one of those, and then all of a sudden my beads moved, and I was like, oh, shh, it's in my room. But I saw something go that way. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. Shayna didn't like it in there either. In the in the spare room. In the den at night. Oh. We yeah. We, it one, was just very, that had a lot of energy in that basement. We would turn oh. off the lights. Yeah. And we would haul ass to my room. Okay, okay, okay. Here's, the light switch is over here. It, it was like, all the whole, it was at the end of the stairs. To turn off the lights in the den. We would stand there. And the phone was in there too. But, okay, we <laughs> would haul ass from the light switch and we all daddy always said to keep the phone in our bedroom so we're sitting on the bed you go get it you go get it you go get it and so every time she'd spend the night we'd alternate and then yeah. we would haul ass at bees one time Shayna got caught in the bees and fell and she screamed and ran and got the phone and hauled ass back and she's like huh we used to ride, we, well, there was no spirits here, but we used to ride through the pasture in the dark. There were there was absolutely no street lights at the time when we first moved in where we were. And so there was this really like forested area, Caitlin knows it's called the swamp. Mm -hmm. And it had, there's a whole bunch of trees all along the, the, the creek and stuff like that. So there was hardly any moon and whatever. So. We dared each other. We had a stopwatch, so we dared each other. It was probably a quarter of a mile, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of a mile, maybe half a mile. And so somebody would hold the timer. Somebody would be on their horse bareback, and you. This was a time when you had to jump the creek to get down there. The swamp. You had to jump the mm -hmm. creek to get to where the ring is. Then you had to go around the corner, and then you had to jump that creek to get to the swamp. So this is what you're being timed on. You had to go down that hill and then you had to haul ass down there and then you had to haul ass through the swamp. Bats are in the trees, birds are or disturbing birds in the pitch dark and you hear <laughs> all up in the trees and you're like shit and you're haul ass even faster. You have to haul ass up that hill, up and around the corner and then down that other hill before the timer was cut out. And I mean, some of us, did you say somebody fell in the creek one time? No, that was Sue. She just rolled off a moo cow's back. Why? Well, I don't know. That was so funny. She had took out that post nearly in the that Sue's post mm -hmm. that Linda talks about. She ran into it, boom, and it just knocked her down. It was some crazy <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. I would have laughed. I was like, "Are you okay?" We did. She was like. like Ugh. <laughs> 
She was <laughs> Wait, which post is that? That post when you first come down the stairs to the down to the barn. <laughs> she just walked she into ran it. ran into it. She was running. <laughs> Boom! She like knocked her down. It was really I messy. can picture that one of those <laughs> It was like dented her forehead. She ran into the corner of it. Why am I laughing? I don't know, but if you'd seen it, it would have been what the Why did, did Linda see it? Linda went down there. That was what that was when we were all allowed to be down there just to run the place by ourselves. I feel so bad for laughing. I don't even know her. She's the one that we pretended that we, that we were staying up in the... Cause see, that we didn't have a phone in the house at the time. It was just at the barn. So she wanted to go call her friend. And we were like, okay, well, we're just going to stay here and watch this. We're going to watch TV. Well, we were in our pajamas. Well, we decided to just throw our clothes over our pajamas. Let's go scare Sue. So then we go up in the hayloft and hide behind a big wall of hay. And the she's down there and we're scratching on the floor and hitting on the floor. <gasps> she's like, hold on the phone, there's something upstairs. I'm going to go see what it is. Hold on the phone, up, you hear me scream, hang up and dial 911. So we're like, this is funny as hell. She came up there and looked at Samantha. She looked right at Samantha. She didn't see her. But when, so we hauled ass when she was all, once she went back down there and got on the phone, we hauled back ass again, went back in my room and got our pajamas back on, just lay there. <gasps> There's something in the halo. Really? We went and looked with her. <laughs> she didn't know for the longest time that we had done that. Did y'all eventually tell her? Yeah, eventually. It was really crazy. Yeah, I don't know why we did half the things we did, but... It was fun. She was the one that pierced my ear the second time. <laughs> Ooh, I felt it go through. Uh, she was jumping around, all freaked out. Like, ew. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it. It was weird. What? I have a funny story to tell you after you scan this. Okay. Okay, okay, we were talking about the den. The uh, den, pitch black. Uh, okay, so one time, Shayna said, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Uh, she got up, I was so scared to do this. I mean, after all that energy crap going yeah. on in there. Okay, she went to the bathroom, closed the door, I snuck out of my room uh -huh. and hid behind that couch down there. Look at that white light. I know. And then I hid behind the nose. You can't see it on the. Okay. The rays of light, yeah. the white lights. Well, we were, okay, I hid behind that couch down there. Uh -huh. And so she walks out of the bathroom. And she walks back to my room. I let her go in the room. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. film that. That was the best one. So she goes back and then she walks out of the bedroom. Caitlin, Caitlin Murray, this is not funny. I oh, know, I'm filming. Okay. And she, She's just like, you can quit messing with me now. And so she, and so I yelled, and it sounded like I was smoky high today. And we, um, I yelled like, and it sounded like I was from the bedroom. In the bedroom, sorry, I was gonna hide from you in the closet. Yeah. And she went back in there, sat down. You can come out now. And so what I did, I ran as fast as I could into the um room and went, ah! and she said, what? <laughs> and started jumping all over the place. It was so freaking funny. Hello. She made me watch that. Oh, hi, car. That's a cool looking car. Hi, little car. And she showed me that the car commercial um, video with the oh, grudge. Yeah. Oh, it scared the shit out of me. She showed me the ring video. We would go down there. We, because, you know, daddy would. Because you would freak yourself out. Yeah. Basically. No, but I mean, like, this is. Because I mean, we had the computer down there, and daddy would just send us down there. This is before you moved in. And. We just sit down there on the computer, knowing nothing. Yeah. I was trying to see if there was any more white lights. I like the way the sun comes through the trees when it's going down. It looks really pretty. It's like the grove of trees. I know it's very pretty. I thought you might like that, Fernando, with all of our trees. This is Georgia, everyone. Oh, you can 
probably film when it comes up and around. You can see some of the mountains. I think it's all open. There's the mountains and the trees. There's mountains between the trees. Whatever. We're on a mountain at the moment. Yes. I know when we get to the golf course, we can see stuff across. Look, there's it go there it goes, leading to the bottom of the mountains. Last turn. I'm more yeah. scared of this turn. Oh, I don't know what these little limpy wooden things are going to do. I have no clue, really. Saying this ain't the day that it ends. Oh, the steel ones don't help much either. Yeah, I I've seen people plow through those things. why I'd make a great driver for George, because I drive all the time. Look at those little wimpy cords. What's that going to do? People can plow through steel. People can yeah. plow through wood. Look at that weird tree. It's got all those arms to it. the clubhouse. I remember the day that burnt down. Well, my and daddy had to put it out. Uh-huh. Brittany used to work there. And then one of his employees had to come pick me up from after school. Somebody had to get, daddy had to get Brittany out of the um, elevator. Look uh -huh. over there. Let's see if you can film something there. There's trees. Kind of pretty. It's a big canoe, everyone. Where people play golf and are really, really snotty. Some of some of them are, are nice though. Some of them. Yes. Just get Others, not so much. No. Surprising? Not really. No. Not really. Look, stop. Four way. I was gonna put a video on your wall because it was funny, but I didn't think you'd like it. What was it? Because it was just it was a commercial for Sunday and it was hilarious. Oh. But it said it was lame holiday swag. Oh. So I decided not to. I want you to watch it, but you probably be like, oh, every time you heard you say the word swag. So I'm not going to post it on the wall. So I want to post one. I want to post one on Daddy's wall, and it says, okay, I know you probably have an issue with me and your daughter. And he's just talking about like what a guy with, or a boy would say to your dad. Yeah, it's funny. And he has this picture, but it's just a girl, and it says you. It's just an outline of a girl coming. No. Look, there's that awesome bridge that I love so much. I've got photographs of one on that bridge. Take a little And Brittany. I need to bring Brittany. Too. Yeah. Um, I wish she could come during the day. Did you zoom that? Yeah. Okay, unzoom it. I did. I don't want you to see my pores. You can't see your pores. See? Look, you can't see them. You can't see them. Stop it. Fire, 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 Betsy. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, Daddy can't start karaoke without us. I know, but it's only seven. Well, we're here, so 